Hi guys, Dr. Mike Cockrell here. Listen, I want to thank you so much for joining me here today for this presentation because we're going to be talking about one of the most popular topics that I deal with in my clinical practice, outside my clinical practice, in every conversation I have, and that honestly is weight loss. More specifically today, though, what I'm going to be doing is I'm sharing with you an introduction to a new online class that we've got coming up. And in the process of that, I want to teach you today the basics on how to lose seven pounds in the next two weeks. Because weight loss is all about getting results. Now, as we go through this course, I'm going to share some information with you, not only about how to get results quickly, but how to get results that will last you for the rest of your life. So let's get started and let's see if we can come up with some great information today, okay? First thing I want to do, though, is I want to sort of share with you who the heck is Dr. Mike Cockrell. Well, Many of you who are watching this probably have been following me because I've been online for several years now, but for those of you who don't know me, let me tell you a little bit about myself. I am a practicing uh, integrative family physician. I have been in private clinical practice since 2002 in North Mississippi, and really, I started my journey uh, more toward the integrative field after being in clinical practice for four or five years. And what I had found at that time, honestly, was I, I was constantly dealing with patients who were tired, who were run down, who were overweight, who were overworked, who were stressed out. And they all had similar issues, similar complaints, similar problems. And all of the stuff that we were looking at from a traditional allopathic medicine model wasn't helping you know, it was amazing to me how many times I saw a patient that came in who was just, they were exhausted, they no energy. They were 20, 30, 40 pounds overweight, and they really weren't doing anything significant when it came to overeating, but they were steadily gaining weight. And so as I began to look into what's the reason, why are these things happening, why do these people keep coming back with the same complaints, I began to notice a pattern, and the pattern was simply that the allopathic ma medical model that I was working with was inadequate. It didn't get me everything I needed to know in order to actually be able to make an effective change. So I started looking outside that model, and in 2008 particularly, I started attending seminars, webinars, reading books. Um, I undertook this extensive self-study program to try to re-educate myself so that I could help people get more effective results. And the programs that I talk with you about today are all a result of that. So since that time, I have created a very successful practice uh, in, in my clinic. And I've also begun to share my message online because I realize that when I am physically in my clinic, I'm very limited by the number of people that I can share information with and that I can actually reach. The internet has opened that up and we are reaching out to hundreds of thousands of people every year, year after year now. So that's my story and I'm sticking to it. So next thing is why simply weight loss? Simply weight loss, um, basically evolved as a concept that I was using in my clinical practice. The book itself I released back in 2012 now. And it was uh, basically when I put the book together, I took the concepts that I had been teaching in my clinic up to that point, and I needed a guidebook, something that I could use in my clinic, something that people could get online. But the whole concept behind Simply Weight Loss was basically that the fad diets don't work. Well, that's a partial truth. Most all of the fad diets will work for you temporarily. The problem that we had was how do I not only get the weight off right now, how do I keep the weight off long term? And so Simply Weight Loss was a program that we developed to sort of begin to teach people not just how to lose weight, but how to begin to change their eating patterns, how to begin to make small changes that would give them long-term effective results. So 
Since the publication of Simply Weight Loss, I have continued to expand my knowledge base into some areas that even stretch beyond what we did back then. And that's what we're going to be sharing with you in our online course, Simply Weight Loss Online. So new tools have become available to help us create online training portals that make it easy and convenient for you to get online, follow a step-by-step -step program, do it at your own pace, do it when it's convenient for you so that you're not stuck struggling to try to be on a live webinar or show up in a clinical setting. You can learn at your own pace, your own speed, and that's where we're moving all of our programs. <clears throat> the Simply Weight Loss online training course, um, we're preparing that course to get ready to launch. It should be available hopefully not long after you see this, but certainly within a few weeks of uh, you watching this presentation, we should have that course available online. And there will be more notices about that. So if you're seeing this, uh, you very likely will see more information about the Simply Weight Loss online training course coming as well. So back to the meat of the matter tonight. How to, how to lose seven pounds in the next two weeks. So let's get into this subject very simply and let's, let's see if we can start to understand the mindset behind how do you actually lose weight and lose it effectively and lose it quickly and then I'm going to get you into some of the basic how to and some things that will get you there very quickly in a short period of time and help you see results so that you can begin to make the changes that you really want to see in your uh, in your life, in your weight, um, in all aspects of what you're doing here. Key number one, if you want to effectively lose weight, not just in the short time, but in the long haul, you need to stop dieting. We know for a fact that rapid weight loss diets, fad diets, low carb diets, high protein diets, fat free diets, they all will help you lose weight in the short term and many of them are very effective at cutting weight off of you. In fact, we use some of the strategies ourselves to help accelerate weight loss in what we call our induction phase. But once you get past that, you really have to be able to put your head around a way of eating not just a diet, but you have to begin to change the way you eat. Because if you just diet and then you stop the diet and you go back to eating the way you were, all the weight that you lose during your dieting phase just comes right back and it typically brings friends with it. So you may actually be heavier after your diet or six months after your diet than you were before you ever started on the diet in the first place. So key number one is to stop dieting and start learning a system of eating that you can use for the long haul so that you can effectively lose weight, keep it off, and never have to worry about it again. Key number two, and this one is really important, and these concepts that I'm gonna be sharing with you here sort of come from the quantum physics side of things. So what you believe about your health comes true. So, what does that mean? That means that when we look at um, clinical trials, when we look at research, when we look at anything out there, there are two or three things that we have now learned in just the last few years that really have an impact on that. One of those things is what we call the placebo effect. In fact, just the fact that you believe something is going to work for you significantly increases the likelihood that it's going to work for you. If you believe something is not going to work, if you believe something is bad for you, if you believe you are fat and overweight and you can't accomplish things, those things tend to come true for you. So one of the keys that you're going to have to begin to face, and this is a tough one to face because this has to do with our self-image. This has to do with who we are. This has to do with how we have been trained to think since the day we were born. And you're going to have to change some of those thought patterns. Now, it's not always easy, but... 
If you don't change the way you think so that you begin to think in a way that creates long-term health, long-term success, long-term weight loss, you're going to continue to struggle with your weight. So what I want you to understand as the significant key here is that what you believe about your health is going to come true. And if you're, you have negative thoughts about that right now, we need to start changing those thoughts. And in our Simply, Weight, Simply uh, Weight Loss Online, we are going to be working with you on some specific tools that you can use to do that. But for tonight and our purpose here, I just want you to understand that what you believe comes true. So keep that in the back of your head and we're going to start working on that. Key number three. You know, if you'd asked me this question 15 years ago, I would have thought you were nuts for even asking because everybody believed that we are a genetic being and this is what we're stuck with. If diabetes runs in my family, I'm stuck with getting diabetes. If cancer runs in my family, I'm stuck with getting cancer. The As we've gone through the evolution of um, the genetics and how our body codes certain gene patterns, we now know you can alter your genetics. In fact, the Human Genome Project really is what has pulled this out. And if you look at some of the studies that came out of the Human Genome Project, when they first went into this project in order to try to identify all of the genes in the human genome, they expected, based on the number of proteins and the number of reactions that we knew had to happen in our body, that we should probably have at least 125 to 150,000 genes in our DNA. What they have found now that they have completely typed the entire DNA of the human um, species is that there's actually only a little over 25,000 genes. So wow, how do we get all of these different proteins out of so few genes? If we know we should have had 125,000 but we only have 25,000, what happened? And to make this subject in a nutshell, because this is a very extensive subject, and we'll talk more about this in the course, um, basically what happens is our thoughts, our environment, the things that we are exposed to, our beliefs about who we are, what we are, how, how we are affected by other people and other things, all of those things go into altering our genetics so that our genes can actually express multiple proteins based on the situation we're in, the environment we're in, the thoughts that we have, the people that we hang around with, chemicals we're exposed to, foods that we eat. All of those things have an impact on our genetics. So it is constantly changing, it is constantly evolving, and so there's a lot of things that go on that we used to take for granted that no longer uh, hold true in, in the world of knowledge that we have access to today. Finally, I want to throw these people in too because as I've been studying these things over the last five or six years, there's a few people that really um, have been very beneficial in me gaining a better understanding of this. And a few of these you might be interested in um, looking up online, finding some of their information, their books, their resources, etc. Lisa Rankin uh, is a physician who does a great job with uh, this concept of uh, integration. Matt James, excellent trainer. I uh, love Dr. Matt for his um, teachings in NLP and HUNA, and some of the strategies and techniques that he has shared are extremely beneficial in managing and controlling and breaking some of the habits that we've developed throughout our lifetime. Dr. Bruce Lipton, Dr. Joe Dispenza, Dr. Deepak Chopra, Dr. Christiana Northrup, many, many others, but these are people that you might find it interesting if you have an interest in figuring out what's really going on. These people may be uh, able to help you along through some of their work and some of their research and some of their studies that they've been doing as well. So, that being said, let's get down to the how-to. 
So what we're going to talk about next is how do you specifically lose seven pounds in the next two weeks? Before I get right into the meat of this, let me give you two, two cautions before we ever start. And I consider both of these to be major cautions that you need to really go into with your eyes open. Number one, diets don't work for long-term sustainable weight loss. Diets do work great for quick fixes. And let me clarify one other thing too. When I'm talking about a diet, I'm talking about um, a diet where you have either a very structured meal plan or you have to eat low carb or you have to eat low fat or you have to eat this specific combination of foods or you have to do this particular soup. Those kind of diets don't work long term because they are impossible to maintain typically for long periods of time. So they will help you get weight off quickly, but if you don't make changes underneath all of that for the long haul, all that weight's going to come right back. So there are a few programs that basically I consider lifestyle changes uh, that do work for the long term, and that's sort of what Simply Weight Loss Online is all built around. So caution number two, bad diets may actually make the problem worse. And I'm going to say that because when you shift your uh, eating patterns to basically follow a fad diet, nutritionally, sometimes they are not complete. If you don't have access to a wide array of foods, you actually begin to shift and alter yourself hormonally so that at the end of the diet, you have made some significant changes in the way your body metabolizes food, processes food, um, you change yourself metabolically and sometimes that will aggravate or accelerate your weight gain coming back. So two big cautions I just want you to be aware of as we talk about some of these things. Okay, now that we got the two big cautions out of the way, let's start step by step what you need to do today to start losing weight so that over the next two weeks we can shed at least seven to ten pounds. Step number one, change the way you think about food. Now, in my Simply Weight Loss Online course, I have an entire section that will sort of explain this whole concept right here. But for tonight, because I don't want you to have to spend 14 days getting through the material before you can start your weight loss. Simply suffice it to say this. You need to understand that that old adage that we used to share about good carbs and bad carbs and good fats and bad fats and good protein, get rid of that crap. Because what we know from the research that's being done in um, psychology, the research that's being done in the quantum physics realm, the research that's being done on behavior modification simply is that your perception of the food you eat actually affects the way your body metabolizes it. So you need to understand that when it comes to dieting, if there is a food that you absolutely hate that you shouldn't have in your diet, but you feel like you're obligated to eat it because it's quote unquote a health food, get rid of that thinking. Because if you don't enjoy the foods that go into your body, you can't metabolize them properly. That negative energy creates a dilemma when it comes to processing it. So think differently about your food. You need to learn to enjoy food. You need to enjoy the process. You do need to make some changes, but you need to realize that there is no such thing as a quote-unquote bad food. And if you have to have a chocolate binge or you're going to pull your hair out after I told you to cut out sugar, you're in one of the next steps, then have the piece of chocolate. Satisfy the craving and then move on. But when you do that, enjoy the process, okay? Step number two drink more water. This is probably by far the biggest problem area that I run into with people each and every day of my life, not just in weight loss, but just in health in general. 
most people. In fact, the data seems to indicate that probably as many as 70 to 75 percent of the population in the United States is in some state of mild dehydration each and every day of our life. Now, that's sad to say because we have ample access to fresh water and we don't drink it. So, if you want to lose weight quickly and you want to lose weight effectively, drink more water. In fact, you need to be drinking roughly half your body weight in pounds in the ounces of water each and every day. So, if you weigh 200 pounds right now, you need about 100 ounces of fresh pure water each and every day just to maintain yourself metabolically. So I know that sounds like a lot and here's what I'm going to tell you about drinking water. If you're not a water drinker right now, start making the change. You don't have to go from 20 ounces being the most you ever drink in a day to drinking 120 ounces tomorrow. But if, you're, if you need to drink 100 ounces a day and you only drink 20 ounces now, then start adding a little bit each and every day so that over the next two or three or four weeks, you can actually increase your hydration state. Your body will function better. You will feel better. You will have more energy. You will have less muscle soreness. Everything gets better. So start today drinking more water. Step number three, this one is crucial for if you want, it, as you begin to lose weight and if you want to lose weight quickly, lose the processed sugars. Fruit sugars, vegetable sugars, great for your body. Your body knows how to handle those. It knows how to deal with those. It knows what it's supposed to do. Processed sugars, and I'm going to throw artificial sweeteners in here too because we really don't need to be doing much in the way of artificial sweeteners. Processed sugars basically do several things. One, we get a lot of empty calories that we don't need. Your body don't know how to handle it. More importantly, the processed sugars create an issue with insulin. And the hormone insulin, as it increases in your body, just constantly makes you more effective at storing fat and less effective at burning fat. So if you want to if you want to lose the pounds You've got to lose the sugar. Get rid of the processed sugar. Step number four, pay attention to your breathing. This is a lesson that I have just recently learned here in probably the last year. And it really has been significant because I have tinkered with meditation off and on for the last few years, but never really given it much thought in the way it actually affects my body body when it comes to weight loss. But here's here's the low down and the skinny on, on paying attention to your breathing. You need to spend time each day breathing as deep as you can. And that would be something as simple as taking in a deep breath for a count of four or five and then exhaling for a count of four or five. If you will do that process of breathing in very deeply and letting it out ten times, two or three or four times a day, you will significantly increase the oxygen flow in your body. It significantly improves your state of relaxation and what you get from that is you see drops in cortisol when you do something as simple as deep breathing. So cortisol is a fat inducing hormone. It jacks us up. It puts us in a state of stress. It revs us up metabolically. It, it's basically your body's way of saying grab all the energy and you can because we're fixing to have to bolt and run. So your body's automatically set up to store every gram of carbohydrate that goes into it when your cortisol levels are too high. Beginning to take deep slow breaths will begin to relax your body, relax your mind, and allow you to burn fat and calories much more effectively. Finally, step number five, if you want to lose weight and you want to lose it quickly, 
You have to eat. It never ceases to amaze me how many times I say this to a patient and then they turn right around and they severely calorie restrict their eating pattern and wonder why they don't lose weight. Anytime your body feels threatened, especially if it feels threatened because it thinks there is not enough food and you're going to starve to death, you will begin to shift metabolically into a state where you don't burn calories. We need to avoid that and the way to avoid that is to eat. So ideally you need to feed your body a little something. It don't have to be a large meal. In fact it should be a small meal but you need to feed your body something and my recommendation is two or three hundred calories four or five times a day. Eat if you want to lose weight. So there you go. That's my straightforward how to lose seven pounds in the next two weeks. You can do it by making those modifications, shifting your thinking, getting rid of the processed sugar, increasing your water intake, um, learning how to do some deep breathing, and then making sure that you're getting adequate calories to keep your body fed and hydrated. So that's what you need to do to get that weight off quickly. Now, if you want more information, if you want to know more about the details, if you want to do all of those things, that information is coming. You can pick up a copy of my book, Simply Weight Loss, from my publisher, uh, laurelrosepublishing.com. That book is available at laurelrosebookstore.com. Um, or you can get it off of my website at www.drmikecockrell.com. The Simply Weight Loss online course should be available very shortly and as soon as it is we will notify you and let you know where you can go to grab a copy of that course. We're going to be teaching some really in-depth things. I'm going to be teaching some strategies. I'm going to be teaching some techniques uh, from different areas that really will help you accelerate your ability to change your habits, to change your thinking, to change those processes so that we can get the weight off of you and we can keep it off forever. So that being said, I want to thank you so much for being here. Thank you for giving me the time. Thank you for taking your time to listen to this. I hope the information was beneficial. I hope you, more importantly, will put it into practice and just see how significant the results can be in your life. And then finally, I'm going through a series of... Um, essays so to speak about my journey here. You can find more of that information on my website at www.drmikecockrell.com or on my new blog site at www.drcockrell.net and then I would really really enjoy you connecting with me online. Here's the list of uh, resources you can get me on my website at www.drmikecockrell.com. I'm on Facebook at www.facebook.com forward slash Dr. Mike Cockrell. You can connect with me on LinkedIn um, at Dr. Cockrell. And like I said, my new blog is at www.drcockrell.net. So I hope this information was beneficial. Hope you enjoy it. If you did enjoy it, feel free to share it with your family, with your friends, so that they might enjoy it as well. And I look forward to working with you more directly in the Simply Weight Loss online course. Thanks so much. Have a great day.